voting in Sweden. It's unbelievable. Welcome to Baka. It's been a strange week in Sweden because everybody's voting and to be honest, it's a right fucking mess. It's, it's kind of crazy how everybody just gets so intense and angry when they speak about politics and the elections. The country is almost in meltdown. But the voting's done now and that was a really strange experience for me. First time I can vote, I wasn't going to use my vote but if you don't vote you can't have a say and some people say you're not from Sweden, you can't have a say, you're an immigrant. But I live here now so I voted. It's quite confusing because in England you get one piece of paper with all the party's names on it and then just cross who do you want, the red or the blue? And that one vote locally counts to the bigger picture. Not here, you have loads of different pieces of paper with different parties' names on it. You get these envelopes and you've got to vote. So you can vote red in your local town, you can vote blue in the bigger picture, which is really confusing. Swedish Democrats. People say it's a racist party. Now, I don't know all their policies, but they want Sweden to be Sweden, which is kind of similar to parties in England. They want to look after the English people first. So, the Swedish Democrats, what do they mean? Do they want us all to be Sami? Because they were here first. If they want Sweden to be real Sweden, I'm not going to go into that because I know it is a sore point for many people. Yes, if people from overseas come to your country and they take benefits and houses and the country doesn't look after its own first, people are going to get upset because it happens in England. But that's why you can vote for who you want. Voting was Sunday and we still don't know now who's going to be in charge of the country because it was neck and neck, reds and the blues, couple of points in it or couple of seats in it, no one knows. In England you kind of just follow what your parents do. So if your parents vote red, you vote red. In England, red is for the working class, the normal day people. Blue is for the rich people. So if you're rich and you want to get richer, you vote for the blue. In England, the blue are in conservatives and they're not really doing a good job with the country at the moment with all this Brexit stuff going on. This summer has been hot as a mother funker. Oh my God, it's been so hot. And it's been really funny listening to the Swedes complaining that it's too hot. It's too hot. We're not used to this heat. Oh my God. You've been complaining about the cold, the rain, and now it's been sunny for more than five days. You complaining about that? Come on guys, get a grip. I've been working hard all summer, that's why I've not been doing any videos. After a summer of seeing Fika and loads of Swedes eating Farley core and macaroni for lunch, I'm gonna try and make some videos. I know you've heard it before. If you miss what I'm doing, don't forget to check out my Instagram, at Big Steve from England. And I do um, daily stories. Leave a comment, anything, even if it's just hi. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see. People kept on going on about the snooze video. So I did a sub Siberia snooze video, which I don't know when's going to 
be released, but stay tuned to this channel to see it. That was pretty nasty, but I did it. So, yet again, thanks for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.